ECM channel. Today we are going to discuss it another topic in the EM rapid series. The topic is the supraglottic devices. Uh, introduction. The supraglottic devices are used to maintain the airway patency as well as to provide ventilation. This is done by placing this uh, supraglottic devices. The opening is above the glottic opening. Uh, as the name suggests, supraglottic above the glottis. And they sit outside the trachea, filling in nature between the facial mask and the ET tubes. Uh, uh, okay. Next, they provide adequate oxygenation and ventilation. The part is a very short period of time. For the short period of time, so you cannot use them for a prolonged ventilation. And uh, these uh, supraglottic airway devices cannot be used in the high inspiratory pressure settings uh, because they have the seal issues and also they have the potential to leak. Uh, so we cannot use them in high in the, when you want to use the uh, settings of high inspiratory pressures. Uh, and uh, as uh, the supraglottic airway devices are usually placed in an apneic or unconscious patients uh, because in an awake patient there is a problem the patient may be causing gagging and also discomfort when because of the cuff. Now classification. The supraglottic airway devices that are the laryngeal mask airway cellemias are classified into first generation and second generation. This division is technically based upon the design for the safety. Second generations are specially defined for safety whereas first generation are the simple airway devices. In first generation there is a low pressure pharyngeal seal. Whereas in second generation, there is high pressure pharyngeal seal. Because of the low uh, pressure pharyngeal seal, it may or may not protect the aspiration in the first generation. And these are not like specifically designed to reduce the risk. Whereas the second generation, because of the high, pharyngeal, high pressure pharyngeal seal, there will be reduced risk of aspiration. And also, they are specially designed so that they are more efficacious for the ventilation, increases the efficacy of the ventilation even. First generation examples are the classic MLA, LME and flexible LME. Whereas the second generation examples are IGL, Proceal LME and Supreme LME. Uh, now classification based on the sealing mechanism. Uh, depending on the sealing mechanism, we can divide into uncuffed uh, peri perilaryngeal sealer or cuffed pharyngeal sealer or cuffless pre-shaped sealer. In uncuffed, which you can say that there is a non-directional and non-esophageal sealers like classic LME and flexible LME, well as they can be directional but not the non-esophageal sealing, that is fast track LME, but directional and even esophagus is also sealed, that is proseal LME. These are all uncuffed. And now coming to cuffed, cuffed pharyngeal sealers, examples are combi tube and laryngeal tubes. And cuffless pre-shaped is the eye gel. In eye gel specifically, there is this uh, solution in the, the, like the cuff shape where because of the human humidity temperature, it gets swollen and it uh, sits perfectly in the place. So it's a cuffless, whereas others are all, uh, this is a cuff and this is also a cuff. Classification based on the number of lumen. Even LME can be divided into how many lumens are within the tube. In single lumen, as uh, LMA, we can see in the classic LMA and flexible LMA. In double lumen LMA, can be seen in the proceal LMA and combi tube. And even there is a triple lumen LMA, which is a new early uh, new LMA called Elisha Airway Device. Next, indications. What are the indications to use the supraglottic airway devices? Indications of uh, uh, LMS are alternative airways in during GS, general anesthesia during the surgical procedures where there is a very short surgical procedure where there is not a requirement of an intubation as such you can go proceed with the LMS or if there is a uh, cardiopulmonary resuscitation time to secure the airway we can use the LMA. It's an essential part of the difficult airway pathway. When we are having the difficult airway pathway as in to intubate the LMA can help us to save some time. Primary airway device when urgent airway patency is required in left lateral position. The patient is in the left lateral position, you want to uh, secure the airway, LMS are the easiest choice there. And also some uh, uh, to prevent vocal cord trauma, you can use LMA rather than going for intubation. Now the contraindications. Contraindications of the supraglottic airway devices are if there is a limited mouth opening, that is less than two finger with mouth opening. And there is any some pathology in the pharynx, larynx or the upper airway that, that with, through which you have to place the LME. 
or if there is any trismus or facial or upper airway trauma even trauma of this face and this uh, oral region or the larynx region we should avoid placing in uh, lme and in patients of increased aspiration as lme cannot protect a full fledged uh, uh, protection against aspiration as the et tube does better uh, we avoid the cases in which there is an increased risk of aspiration uh, the avoid lmes increased risk of aspiration can be seen in cases of morbid obese or pregnancy patients and uh, patients having reduced lung compliance that means which will be requiring positive uh, inspiratory pressure they are also lmes contraindicated now what are the advantages of the lme advantages of lme is we can go with full spare like for the intubation it takes a time to prepare the sedate the patient and place it in lme we can increase the speed and ease of the placement there is a, a less requirement of the expertise there is not requirement of the laryngoscope and as such so it is a less uh, requirement of expertise and uh, the, the during the insertion of the lme there is a minimal icp changes so the intracranial pressures are not majorly affected while placing lme and it increases the airway tolerance and during emergence that is after anesthesia it lmes have the frequency of lower frequency of coughing and improved oxygen saturation now the disadvantages of lme are there is this uh, positive pressure ventilation inadequacy you cannot uh, maintain positive pressure ventilation and there is the more chance of aspiration aspiration is the disadvantage here and it also causes sore throats now the sign of correct uh, placement of the lme we need to after we place the lme we have certain signs which we need to see make sure that the lme is in position uh, upon the inflation of the lme's cuff uh, there will be slight outward movement of the tube because of the cuff growing in the size and the second way to see is the presence of the smooth oval swelling on the neck around the thyroid and the cricoid area around the thyroid and cricoid area there will be this uh, smooth oval swelling which we can palpate and also when you see the oral cavity there should be no cuff visibility and ventilating the patient uh, when after uh, filling the cuff with air we can check with the steth to see that the breath sounds are over the bilateral lung fields present and also the absence of the ventilatory sounds or the epigastrium now placing the uh, the anatomical description of the lme or the pharynx and the larynx in the cross section of it we have to see that the distal tip of the silicon cuff is placed on the or the upper esophageal sphincter and the sides of the cuff are over the piriform fossa and the upper part of the cuff is the tongue base this helps us to determine whether the lme is in position or not so yeah this is the short note about uh, supraglottic airway diseases which are specifically the lmes and the various lmes we have as in uh, igel classic lme and furtherly and uh, regarding these lmes there is an advantage of the using supraglottic airway devices such a way that in, as the generations of the lme are uh, first generation second generation as we discussed in second generation also there are uh, advantages of the lme being that it will help us to provide ease in intubation now regarding uh, converting an lme into intubation the way techniques are the sec firstly would be like uh, one way is to remove the lme and again in intubating the patient or using as a buji in between to uh, rail the et tube or using a fibro optic bronchoscopy to see the position of the lme and railing it across with the et tube and uh, yeah this is a short note on the lme thank you